Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Let's get the best part. The best part. The best part. Ah. It's Kyrie. Yes, if you don't know me, get to know me. What's up, YouTube? What's up, Kyrie crew? And um, what's up, the warning audience people? I'm a bit warm right now. Hopefully, you. Well, you might see me sweating a little bit, so it might be a bit of a problem me wearing this t-shirt. I might take it off during a week, who knows? <laughs> uh, but yeah, what's up warning audience? We are here with uh, Survive, the live performance at Tetro, Teatro, um, po Metropolitan. See, yeah, I can't speak, tripping up already. <laughs> Don't worry. Now, we're here with another live performance of The Warning. Guys, I'm going through like the live performances that they've done. A lot of the Warning audience do say, oh, just check out the whole show itself. The whole show and every single song on there, is ba it just bangs. It bangs. So definitely go into it and dive into that rabbit hole. So this is what we're going to be doing. Any key songs you want me to react to, as you know, Discord link in the description. Go check it out. Or oh, recommend me, apologies. Um, any song down there, people. But let's get into the reaction before I start to burp. Jesus. <laughs> um, however, you know I see you, you know I love you, you know I appreciate you people. Don't act like I'm ignoring you. Thank you for commenting, thank you for supporting, and thank you for subscribing, all right? Let's get into this reaction. Don't come to me oh, pal. That you care that I was the one who was ever there. Don't come away with your lights in the air. <laughs> you keep blaming me and it ain't fair. Hey. Bruh! Back with the crowd participation, people. I know a lot of bands do this. I just I just like how they do it. You get me? I know a lot of bands do it, but I just like how they do it. Bro, crowd participation again. Bro, they love them, man. Everyone loves the warning, bro. Fire, bro. Hey! Ah, the switch! <laughs> Got daddy singing the switch, the switch, let's go! Alright, fire, fire, fire. Go, let's go, go. Great, great, great. Oh my god, like, bro, the crowd participation is crazy. How, like, the relatability is crazy. Like, the, this song it, it itself, there's so much relatability to it. Hence why the crowd was singing at the start, because obviously they could connect to it. They've been in that situation. They've had that sort of history. Oh, bro, these girls are good, man. These girls are good, bro. They're good. I like the power. I like the power and I like the Danny back and forth singing. It's sick, bro. They, they really collab perfect with this song, man. Their relationship, obviously, their sisters, is immaccable. Is imp immaccable? No, impeccable. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs>
Hey, hey, hey. Oh, bro. They always switch up near the end. They always, every single song they do this, bro, and it bangs. It bangs. Oh, my God, bro. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'll tell you what. I love their voices, man. Their voices are so out of the box, very unique. It's like a tonality I don't really hear that's very common with um Danny and Powell. They're very, like, distinctive and very, like, in their own name with their vocals. Like, you can, I don't even know if that's the Mexican accent kicking in there, but the tonality, bro, is very different. I like the way they sound, man. I really like the way they sound. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. The best part, the best part, the best part. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> go on, go on, go, go on, go on, go on. Go on, pal, go on, pal. They love doing something spectacular near the end. They love doing like the songs we've well, the songs we've reacted to and the playlist I have created of the warning on my channel. Go check it out. Link in the description. They um they love to have a theatric ending. They love to go all out in the ending, in it. They love to show off, yeah, like but that sort of talent, bro. Amazing. Uh, it's probably because they're like live, and sometimes when you're live, it's best to obviously hype the audience up in some sort of aspect. So their aspect is probably doing that every single time at the end of their songs. They got to do something exciting to be like, "Let's go, let's go!" Like so, the audience has that like sort of energy. So it might be like a tactic type of skill to make sure when they do a song, it's just fantastic for the audience, basically. Because the audience, when they're there, they want to see them rip it out. They want to see them go in, but. What's surprising me the most, man, and I've said it before, it's only three of them, but it sounds like there's 10 of them. They're captivating that audience and that stage. Like, s s <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Splendid splendidly? <laughs> yeah? Outstandingly, man. Un incredible. They, they really capture that, like, stage. Do you know what, people? I've seen, like... <sighs> I haven't seen like the big people, like the warning, like the reactor uh, bands I react to, Lorna Shaw, obviously Sleep Token. I haven't seen these bands like live, um, but I've seen like local artists in my area live. And not, not everyone has stage presence. Not everyone has stage presence. Like I've seen like low people, like people in the underground thinking they're unreal, thinking they're sick, thinking they're so good at like uh, rapping, singing and all this stuff. And they, they're so focused, they're so fixated on the talent that they're doing, they have no stage presence. And people are like, oh, bro, they're so talented. But I, when I watch them, I'm like, yeah, they're good. But I didn't like, I wasn't captivated when I watched that. So not a lot of people can do it. So with them doing it, to me, it surprises me the most. It really surprises me the most. It might not surprise any of you guys. Some of you people might be like, oh, 
stage presence is normal for like performers. They have to be like that. It, duh, would you expect? Not everyone has it. Not everyone has it, people. So if you can control the crowd, man, um, it's outstanding. I know an artist, like, I know an artist very well um, in like my area. Um, he's not, he, he hasn't got massive stage present, presence. He's a very good artist, but he hasn't got massive stage presence. And when I, I used to do music, um, he was like, bro, one thing I love about you, you love jumping in the crowd. You love getting involved. And I'm like, yeah, bro. I'm like, I'm, I'm here to make sure they have a good time. Um, he's like, yeah, I just need to work on that. So no, it's not natural, people. It's not a natural thing. And they've got it on, on lock, on lock, people. Um, is there anything I need to see at the end? Excuse me. Um, no, no. Well, that is the wooden reaction done, people. Comment below. I will do my best to reply. Please do not be dishearted. Please do not be dishearted. I'll do my best. If not, I see you. I appreciate you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for being here. But as I said, subscribe it. Subscribe. Hit that notification button, people. We're trying to reach. We're going to reach. The aim is to get to 14,000 subscribers by the end of July. Then we go higher, then we go further, then we keep on preaching a new milestone. So people do subscribe, hit that notification bell, we're less than 200 subs away. You know what you need to do. If you wanna push that gratitude a little bit further, these reactions go on to Patreon one week in advance with additional content, with a podcast, with any recommendation that you want me to obviously do, designed solely for you on the Patreon people. So definitely go check that out. I got stuff up and coming in the winter. I can't wait to get on, but yeah, $5 a month, 20 cents a day. It's hardly anything, people. And as I said, any recommendations, you know when you need to go. I'm over and out. Peace.